in this problem we need to solve a trigonometric equation. In this case it's the uh, square root of 3 times the cotangent of theta minus 1 equals 0 and then we need to express all the solutions of that so going up to infinity. So we'll use this notation where we add some multiple of 2 pi or maybe pi. We'll see when we get our answer. The first step here is to solve for the cotangent of theta part. So isolate that on one side of the equation. So I'll start by adding 1 to both sides and that gives us the square root of 3 times the cotangent of theta equals 1. And then we just divide by the square root of 3 here and we get the cotangent of theta equals 1 over the square root of 3. Now remember the cotangent is the cosine over the sine. So that's the x value over the y value here and we need to find the spot where that comes out to 1 over the square root of 3. So there's a little bit of math to do there. I think I'm going to start by just choosing um, the spots here that I know have a square root of 3 in them. So there's pi over 6, there's pi over 3. I also know since the cotangent here is positive, it's a positive 1 over the square root of 3, the x and the y positive or both have to be negative. So I can restrict it to quadrant 1 and quadrant 3. And these two have square roots of 3 in, in them here. So let's check pi over 6. x over y would be square root of 3 over 2 over 1 half. And when you simplify that, multiplying by 2 over 2, you would get square root of 3 over 1. Uh, the square root of 3 would be on top. We want it on the bottom. So it's not pi over 6. It's this pi over 3. And I'll show you. We got 1 half over square root of 3 over 2. If we take this big fraction and multiply it by 2 over 2, this 2 cancels with this 2, this 2 cancels with this 2, we have 1 over the square root of 3. So the 1 half has to be the x, and that's the same down here. So our, our answers here are 4 pi over 3 and pi over 3. So theta equals pi over 3, and then multiples of it or theta equals 4 pi over 3, but hmm, one thing I notice now, and this pops up with the tangent and cotangent functions, these guys are straight across from each other. All the way across the circle is 1 pi. So if I go from pi over 3 to just 4, four pi over 3, I've moved 1 pi. I mean, you can tell that by subtracting them. 4 pi over 3 minus pi over 3 is pi. And then if I go another pi, I'm back to pi over 3. So instead of listing the answer as pi over 3 or 4 pi over 3 and every multiple of, of 2k pi, we could just say pi over 3 and every multiple of pi beyond that. So we can say pi over 3 plus k pi, where k is a, um, in that an element of the set of, of integers. So with the tangent and cotangent functions, you can often condense the notation like that. And that is a little work with solving a trigonometric equation.